Hello everybody, Rick Malero here with His Capital Group and I'm so excited to give you guys an update regarding our recent trip to Uganda. And in the beginning of the year, I had a meeting with David Green, who's the principal of Feeding Children Everywhere, and he shared with me the problem that's going on in Uganda, where there are so many people from South Sudan that have had to flee in order to survive. And in essence, there are these refugees that have absolutely no food, hardly any shelter, and they are in desperate need of somebody to step up and help them out. And just a few months later, our team got together with the Feeding Children Everywhere team, and we helped package over 300,000 meals that would be shipped to Uganda to help aid those people that are literally dying of starvation. Luckily, the UN has stepped up and they've been a part of helping out, but the amount of food resources that they're able to provide represent less than a meal a day for those refugees out there. So with 300,000 meals en route, we decided to get on the plane and we flew together out there. And during this trip, our main mission was to connect with African Renewal Ministries, who's a local asset. And much to our surprise and our encouragement, this team definitely had the right systems in place, they have the right staffing in place, and they have the right networks. But it was an opportunity for us to also do some recon work and meet with some of the local people that were actually struggling with these circumstances. Our first local stop was in Kampala. We went to a small neighborhood and we had the opportunity to literally hand deliver food to some of the locals. And as we walked through the streets and went to people's homes, to be honest with you, words cannot describe in between two homes, you have a ditch in the ground and it's like a ravine. And that ravine is where everything goes. All of the bathroom stuff goes there. And these children are running barefoot through all that area. It was just so sobering to see the conditions. Walked into one of the places and I met this lady, beautiful lady, she's about 80 years old. So thankful that we provided food that would last for a month for her. And she shared with us her story, we held her hands, we prayed and we encouraged her. But it was a very emotional moment seeing these people under these conditions. And then from there, they tell me that this isn't even the worst of it. And so that's what got us ready for the next stop. The very next morning, we took an eight hour drive to a completely remote place in Ajumani. And this is the area where the refugee settlements are. And to give you perspective, there's about 18 settlements. One alone may have 100,000 people, the other one might have 20,000 people. I have never been to a refugee settlement before. These people literally have a mud hut and you have to have the elders blessing to get in there, otherwise your life's in danger. And so we had the privilege of getting access to one of them and sit down with some of the elders, ask them questions about their circumstances and kind of hear their stories and find out what their needs were and really encourage them to let them know that they were not alone and that we were gonna be a part of helping them to come up with ideas. It was during these interviews with these people that we really started hearing the stories of how they got to this place that I thought was the worst case. But the reality is they had escaped the worst case and they were in a place that at least was safe. There were women there that had HIV that contracted the disease by being forced uh, and being raped. I met a lady who actually asked me to pray for her and she brought this young boy and she told me that one night there was an attack in South Sudan and as everybody was fleeing for their lives and running, she found this boy that was crawling by himself and his parents were nearby. And if you can imagine, they were not responsive. And I'll leave it like that for you. So she decided to just grab this boy and run to safety. And it's been almost two years now and here she is. She's now the mother of this child. And she was asking us to pray that God would provide food for her so that she could make sure that he would grow up and have an opportunity. Many of the people there, including the elders shared with us, they don't just want a handout. They want an opportunity to fend for themselves. We have the potential here as a company and in partnership with Feeding Children Everywhere to really mastermind and come up with solutions that will give these people an opportunity to rise out of the ashes that they're in right now. We're really excited because we really get to live out our principles of investing with purpose. And so as we work with Feeding Children Everywhere, we're discussing putting together a few centers there to start creating training opportunities for both the locals of Uganda and also for the people in the refugee settlement. Our aim is not just to send food, even though we're hoping that over the next few months we'll be able to send out another 300,000 meals, totaling 600,000 meals to meet the immediate need. Uh, but also now we want to talk about how do we start creating job opportunities so that specifically the ones who are a little bit more advanced, they can actually start competing in the global market and generating revenue and income so they can spend it in their local market. And then for those that are actually in these settlements, our goal is to see if we can get with the elders and we're currently already in talks with leadership members uh, to see if we can get and lease a substantial amount of land so that we can hire these individuals to go work the land. 
and learn how to generate business and start feeding themselves and then turning it into business and income so that they can become self-sustainable. And that's really what we're looking for. And so I wanna thank you guys for all of you clients who have invested with us passively or for all of you who are borrowing capital from us to grow your business. The generation of the capital that we make working with you is going to places like this to make a difference, not just in Uganda, but locally and abroad. Thank you for following us and for being a part of our business. Because of you, we're able to influence and feed nations for God's glory. Thank you.